Hi guys, it's the Kimben here, and I've got a quick tutorial on Cinema 4D on how to make a cube bounce. And you would have seen in my last video that I did this, just made a cube sort of like warp and stuff. It looked pretty cool. And now I'm just going to show you how I did it. So, what you have to do is you open Cinema 4D and all that rubbish. And you just click on this icon, go to plane and stretch it out so you get a nice up plane square looks quite good by the way zoom out a bit there then what you have to do is you add a cube just click cube there and drag it up and then see down here where it says segments on under object you have to change all these to three we don't have to but it works for me. I don't know if it work, won't work for you if you don't do it. So now I've changed that. And now what I have to do is select both of them. So press control and click on both of them. So selected both of them. And click C. So and, and now these two polygon cloth things will come up. Not too sure what they do. But we can live with that. <laughs> Now what you have to do is you have to rotate the cube just so it doesn't look stupid. So you can take the cube whatever way you really want. You can do mine. It's all like that. Now you've got a rotating cube. And to make it fall down and warp, what you have to do, after click on your cube, go to tags, cloth tags, and click cloth. Then on your plane, you have to go to tags, cloth tags, and collider. Just like that. And so if I play it, hopefully this will work. Blah blah blah. See it wob wobbles there. Let's play it one more time for you. Zoom in a bit. See? And then it wobbles here. And you see that's got very sharp edges. I'll try to pause it at the right time for you. See here, it's a sharp edge. Now, if you want to get rid of these sharp edges, what we have to do is we have to click on the nerves bit, get hyper nerves. And what you have to do to hyper nerves is just put the cube inside it by just dragging him. Bam! No, it didn't work. Yeah, there we are. That's in it. Now you can see the shape is slightly warped a bit. So now if we play, it's a little less sharpie and stuff. Now after you've done that, what you want to do is click on your cube and then, oh no I've got this one. You have to click on cloth in this area here and change the stiffness from 100%. I'm going to change mine down to about, say, 40%. Press enter. And now if I play it, it wobbles a lot more. See that? You can change that up or down by just changing the stiffness. And you can mess around with all these sort of controls that you can change and stuff. And now, what most of you will probably want to do is change the colour. So, just double click here, create a new material. And change the colour to maybe a creamy yellow colour. That sounded wrong, I know, but let's go for it. Then, make a reflection. Uh, turn the brightness right down, maybe to about 7-8%. So, it's not that bright. And don't think you do any more here. No. So now I've got this, and you just drag it onto your cube. So you have a nice colour cube. I'm actually going to make the same colour, actually, it's just a normal white. Maybe a reflection? I don't know. Yes, yeah, put reflection in. 
light reflection. Bam. And just drag that onto there. There we go. Now if I render that out quickly. That was the wrong button. Delete that cube. There we go. Alright, let's render it out. Now you got your cube and your nice shiny plane. So now if you watch this back, you got you got your blob. And so it'll look nice if you have a look at my other video. And I'm rendering again. I don't know why I'm doing it. Why am I rendering? Stop rendering. Stupid idiot. Let's try it now. Cinema 4D has gone retarded on me. Okay, let's try it now. Okay, no, that's not going to work. So just, this is what it will look like. You just fall down. Bam, you got your blob. Cheers for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.